Hey everyone, Reg here, and we're back with another Reds Requested, and today we have the Totem King Nemesis build. So let's go ahead and break it down. For our first perk, we have Thrill of the Hunt. For each doll and hex tome remaining on the map, we gain a token, and Survivor's Cleansing and Blessing Speed is reduced by 10% for each token. Next, we have Hex Ruin. Whenever a generator is not being repaired by a survivor, it will automatically regress at 100% of the normal regression speed. For our third perk, we're bringing in Hex Face to Darkness. Injuring a survivor by any means is going to light a dull totem, activating the perk. While the perk is active, all other survivors outside of your terror radius will scream every 25 seconds, revealing their positions and auras for 2 seconds. Now remember, whenever you scream, it actually interrupts your action. So if survivors are working on a totem and then they scream, it will interrupt them, making them start over. When the initial survivor enters the dying state or becomes healthy, the Hexstone becomes a dull again and this perk deactivates. Now, this keeps happening until the Hexstone is cleansed, then the perk is permanently removed. And for our last perk, we have Hex Pentimento, of course. This is going to allow us to rekindle broken totems one time, and we get an additional effect for every Pentimento totem in play. The main one we care about, though, is just the first Pentimento totem, which is going to decrease survivor's repair speed by 30%. If you manage to get 2, 3, 4, or 5, here are the other listed effects. As far as add-ons today, we're going to be running Mikhail's Eye and the Depleted Ink Ribbon to increase zombie movement speed by a total of 85%. The extra zombie movement speed will allow our zombies to get around the map and to be more of a nuisance to survivors who are trying to work on totems or generators. But overall, that is today's build. I'm excited to get to it, so let's go ahead and jump to the gameplay. Alright, game number one is on Larry's. Not my favorite map, but definitely a decent map for totems and a decent map overall for our zombies. So, should be pretty decent. Downside is going to be finding survivors right away. Larry's can block us off. We do have someone over here. Can't tell who it was. Oh, Bill. Hey, man, come here. If only the zombie had gotten there a little sooner. We might have ourselves actually a pretty quick down here. Where is he playing at? I just really have to watch out for the uh, dead hard. Good. Oh, one survivor over there, but we'll just hook up anyways. It's not a big deal. There you go. And where we go. Oh, there we are. Okay. We'll go for her. Seems like a good chase overall. There we go. Now, face the darkness is up. I mean, we can leave her. We can also... Well, now I might not. She kind of walked back into me, so... We kind of want to put the, you know, chase away pretty quick. Hi. And we have one survivor over there. They did remove a uh, totem, by the way. Because I have one totem over there that's highlighted white. There we go. That zombie is still chasing as well. We have blood on the ground. Hey, man. It's pretty risky on his part. Oh, I don't get that. Wow, crazy. How are we playing it, Bill? He's going back. We don't have a door there. Hey, man. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, we can go ahead and commit this down as well. Now, the idea of having face-up is normally so we can get value out of it by denying totems, but if I can just get down after down like this, we can definitely scale up some pressure. And now we can go ahead and get our Pentimento in play. I'm okay with him knowing about this. I actually want him to spend time getting rid of it, because the amount of time it takes to remove a uh, totem with Thrill of the Hunt up is pretty ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm pretty okay with him having... Uh, Knowledge of that tome being there. Anything to keep him off the gens. Oh. Hi. Come on. Oh, darn. I was hoping Ruin would activate for a split second. There we go. Finally got our tier two. And we can actually just go ahead and leave him with face the darkness. There's no point in chasing him at a god tile at the moment. We still have our totems up over here, which is pretty good. Ooh, nice. Repressed. Fair enough. That means it won't regress. 
Oh, we didn't go up. Oh, there we are. Okay, the scratch marks just kind of stopped. Unlucky for me, but that's all right. Where are we heading off to? As long as we're staying in this area, I'm pretty okay. Nice. I don't know if you make it around again, do you? Oh, you have this. Okay. Nice. It's actually pretty well connected here. There goes the pentamento, but again, like, so much time. Still have ruin up, so as long as we can keep this area pretty much protected, we'll get quite the value. Oh my gosh. All the heartbeat. Hiya. Want to come here, Nia? No? All right. Looks like we're cutting through. No door here. Okay. Hi. I'll take it. Should be able to catch her here. Oh, I guess not. She cut that perfectly. Well played. I was kind of hoping to break the pallet right away, but she kind of waited, which was smart. I might have to let this go in a second if I can't end it quick enough. But we're going to try and put it away. Nice dead hard. Oh, thank you. And they're not on that gen in there, so we're okay. And we have all of the tomes over here. Nice try. We have like two tomes over here that we can constantly guard. And it makes it pretty hard for them to get rid of like Ruin. I'm guessing Ruin's one of these two, and Face the Darkness is the one that's farther away. Because I'm pretty sure this corner one has been up the whole time. No, no one's here. Okay. Oh, got someone here, though. Hi, man. Nice dead heart. That's just pretty lucky for me, honestly. Zombie is chasing someone away. Oh, it is Nia. I don't really want to get baited into a longer chase away from the gens. Yeah, I think I'm just going to avoid it for now. Who do we have here, though? There it is. Okay, it's Bill. Fair enough. Hey, man. Ruin's still afflicting that. Good. We can constantly create a dead zone here, which is even better. We have Nia kind of cutting through. No, someone else is going for the save. Is this Nia? No, it's uninjured, so it's Meg. There you are. Hey, you, Meg. He's got bulldoze. There we go. So how are we playing it? Oh, we uh, vaulted this. Fair enough. Oh, wait. I have someone right here. I heard Nia, I thought. Are we up top? We were. We went around. Oh, wait. We're underneath. Oh, my God. I'm getting so confused. We're not underneath? We are? Wait. I mean, this works. I, I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I kept hearing them just kind of like taking two different routes. So I was sitting there trying to follow, I think, both of them. There we go. Just had to make sure we have a dead heart there because there's a pallet right there. And that should be the first survivor out of the game. Yep, I did give up Ruin for it, so it's a little brutal. But honestly, having Ruin last until we can get a survivor out of the game is pretty good. So I'm pretty happy. Now we can go ahead and get Pentimento back up. And again, if they want to get rid of it then they're going to have to uh, spend a lot of time getting rid of a totem. And that is just time not on the gen. Ooh. Nia? We'll just follow it. I can break this in a second. I just want to make sure she's on the right side and we have some distance. Just like that. Ooh. Could be a resilience, actually. It was a pretty quick vault. Mm. 
Nice. I was kind of waiting for her to dead hard there, but I think she was trying to fake it. There we go. A perfect place. That way we can kind of watch this gen as it regresses. Oh, I saw you. Where'd you go? Oh, hey. Just stayed right here for me. Cool. Oh, Fred, you let me down, man. I passed him the ball, and he just fumbled it completely. That should have been an easy two-tap, Fred. You're fired. Gotta do everything myself here. Right back into the same spot. Are you gone, Deathhook? Yeah, you are. Here we are. It's a pretty rough spot, my dude. Yeah. I always like the ending of, like, the Nemesis Fist. It looks like it just kind of pauses for a second and then hits the survivor. Where are we at? We're right here. Got the blood. Gonna try to avoid Cindy here. Oh, wow. I thought the uh, dead heart had stopped. Oh, well. We can hold it forward. She doesn't have too many options. That should be honestly her last option in this area. Oh yeah. Perfect. And that is game number one. Let's go ahead and move to a game number two. And family residence for the second game. All right. Well, where are we at here? Okay, we can head over to this corner. This is a thought process. Normally whenever I spawn, I'm always looking at like the map at, like from my position as a V. So I'm guessing this corner or the other, or they spawn in a really awkward area, but we have someone here. Like they could have spawned technically at Shag too. That would have been really bad. I'll take that, thank you. I'm gonna try and move her into the zombie here. Come on, Fred. I'm telling you guys, Fred's gonna get fired today. Oh yeah, he's getting fired. At least deducting pay. Thank you. So we did spawn in both corners here. There is a toolbox in play, so that's a pretty quick gen, but they could have been multiple survivors. Nice, cool. That's actually really big, because I didn't really have another play there if she actually got away. I would have had to gone around or given up the chase. There you go. We can leave Cindy, because I want her to kind of watch over this area. I know there's another survivor around here. I just can't really sit here and look for it. I want her to watch over the totem. And let's go ahead and take Fred. Like I said, he's fired, but gives us tier two. Crow came back, so we know they're probably on this gen. One's off. Someone's still on it. There we go. Hi. Oh, thank you. That will get Face the Darkness up. Where did Nancy go? Oh, there's where Nancy went. Fair enough. Nancy, come here. I got two big meaty fists here to punch you with. In the face. Repeatedly. Okay, it was all prank. Asserting dominance. There we go. I'll take it. Getting us a little closer to tier 3. She would have gotten the pallet either way. Thank you. You know, I didn't have to respect that at all there. I just naturally respect for Dead Hard. We saw their aura for a split second, I think. So, they're over there, I think, healing Meg up right now. Yeah. They might try and sneak by me, so let's just go up this. Yeah, there's one. Ooh, but we have her as well. Uh, thank you. Almost tier three. Oh no, that's uh, yeah, that's not the vault. I fall, I do that all the time, by the way. As survivor, I do the same thing. Don't do it. Cool. 
This should be her second stage, which is going to be really good for us. Oh, no. You're on my totem. Hey, can you get off of that real quick? How long have you been on that totem? Not long enough. Right? Oh, my gosh. Apparently long enough. There goes our ruin, which is unfortunate. But, you know what? At least they wasted quite a bit of time. Hi. Oh. Let's go ahead and just set up our totem. There we go. Someone's working on the totem. Hey, can you not? Thank you. We only have one pallet here to really play around. I think we just got a bulldoze through it. Thank you. Cannot let you guys have a free save, though. Let me see if we can maybe put another survivor down. Ooh, that pre drop is going to really hurt. Awesome. There we go. We can go ahead and put her on the hook right away. This should hopefully get them to go and try and pick up the other survivor. If not, we'll get two hooks, which is great. But if Claudette comes over here to pick up, it doesn't seem like it, which is smart. Because then we could take Claudette out of the game. But, fair enough. Goodbye, Fred. Someone's going for this save right now. Where's that at? That's Claudette. Okay. Because she just lost her infection. I hear you over here. Nice try. We can line this up. Good luck. Nice. Okay. I thought, honestly, I pulled too much there. And I thought we were going to miss it. Which would have been really unfortunate. We still have Pentimento in play. They did remove Thrill, but that is so much time wasted on the the totems. Like, we have such a good amount of pressure right now, and two survivors are out of the game if we get them on a hook. You're going over there. Did we hop in the locker? You know what? I just saw her leaving, too. Feels rough. There we go. Tier 3. Someone's going for the save. Yikes, I couldn't pull it. Lithe, nice. She gets the pallet, she's gonna have to drop. Yeah. Ooh, you didn't hug tight enough. Yeah. If she would have hugged it tighter, she might have been able to make it, but it's hard to say. Well, there goes all of our totems. That means we have another Pentimento somewhere. Oh, it's all the way over in the corner. But well, we won't be setting that up anytime soon. Nice. Ooh, we get a twofer there. A big no from me, boss. Tommy's chasing somebody over here. But they'll have leeway. Oh, I hear you're breathing. Hi. Oh, the other survivor came. Fair enough. There you go. Now she has to make a trade, yeah. Yeah, at least go for a whip. Just for a little bit of infection. Thank you. There's no way you guys get her up in time, right? Oh. <laughs> I like it. You know, if you're going to go down, go down in style, right? Ooh. Hi, Nancy. Oh. Oh, that was a big... Oh, there was a dead heart in there. Did she have dead hard and head on? 
Interesting. At least it looked like a dead heart, right? The little shuffle of the feet. It can be hard with Nemesis to see the dead heart sometimes, because that's what they do. They do like a little shuffle instead. Uh, two survivors out of the game. I have a zombie over here chasing to the left. Now, the movement speed is really nice right here, by the way, because it allows him to chase for a little bit longer. And while he won't ever catch up to hit, it just allows us to track wherever nice Claudette is. Hi. Okay, we did go out the right side here. Cool. That was kind of a weird fast vault, but all right. There you go. I didn't really think she was going to fall. I was actually aiming for the pallet, but okay. Ooh. I thought maybe. Anything? No? Cool. Oh. Looks like Fang has hatch, yeah? Yep. Okay. No worries. But overall, that is the build. It worked out pretty well. Uh, we got tons of value off of our totems. I'm pretty happy about it. Try it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, and until next time, I am Red, and I am signing off.